What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here. I got some big news I want to go over here with you guys and we'll go over here together here. It pertains to some big news, some big headlines. I'll show it to you here on the screen. Does President Joe Biden's Social Security plan include 23% benefit cuts? And I recently did a video here uh, about President Joe Biden's four-point plan, which in actually includes a raise to Social Security. The title of that video is, is something like uh, Joe Biden's four-point Social Security plan, $485 raise. And um, I got a lot of comments, a lot of feedback on that. And I'll link you to that video here uh, at the end of this video so you can watch that next. It goes over the details on that. And um, a lot of people are questioning here, does his plan include a 23% reduction in it to Social Security? And we'll, we'll go over this article here in a moment. And this article basically says yes and no. And this is, uh, and I'll give you the details here on this. And this is because um, Social Security does need to have changes to it. Uh, whenever we do Social Security um, videos here, I get some comments, you know, saying leave Social Security alone. And I, I get the thinking behind that, you know, don't touch your Social Security. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, I pay into Social Security too. I have for a while, ever since I was 14, I got my first job and I started paying into Social Security. Um, everybody wants to get their Social Security benefits forever and, until they pass away, but that's they got to make changes to Social Security because if they don't, it will run out of money. The Congressional Budget Office, directly from the government, says in as little as nine years. And the Medicare Trust Fund uh, could run out of money in as little as five years because um, more baby boomers, a large percentage of the population, are retiring now. They're no longer paying into the system. And Congress has also known, even before that has happened, and um, that the, the benefits, the amount of money in there has been running out for years. For years, they've known this. This is why they have already raised the retirement the retirement age once. We all know that it's been raised once. They did that to try to make it more solvent, so that it's been running out of money for a long time now. That's why they raised the retirement age once, and uh, it's been running out of money for a long time. It's not like this is just something new. It's not like this is something that's just popped up. Congress has known this for a long time. So let me show you this here. Does Joe Biden's Social Security plan include 23% benefit cuts? President Joe Biden has been adamant in opposing cuts to Social Security benefits. He stated in his State of the Union address earlier this year that he wouldn't allow anyone to make cuts to the program. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. But members of the Republican Study Committee, known as the RSC, have a different take. The RSC argues that its proposed 2024 budget protects seniors from President Biden's 23% across-the-board cuts to Social Security. Does Biden's Social Security plan really include 23% benefit cuts? Well, yes and no. Here's why. No plan equals a bad plan. The RSC states in its proposed 2024 budget that the president's budget would lead to the aforementioned 23% reduction in Social Security retirement benefits. In one sense, that's true. Biden's proposed 2024 budget increases funding for the Social Security Administration's field office staffing. However, this is only for the staffing. It was silent on any major reforms to Social Security. This was in his 2024 budget. Okay. The RSC interprets that silence as doing nothing about Social Security. It maintains that if the U.S. Congress and the President take no action to bolster the program, major cuts are on the way. This gloomy outlook is unfortunately correct, and members from Congress, both Democrats and Republicans, have said that if Congress does nothing, there will be a 23 to 24% reduction to your benefits. We've seen this from both sides of Congress. 
According to the latest Social Security trustees report, the combined Social Security trust funds are on track to run out of money by 2034. That's the combined Social Security trust fund. Steep benefit cuts would then have to be made unless something is done to add revenue, reduce costs, or both. So far in his presidency, Biden hasn't pushed for specific changes to Social Security that would prevent these cuts in the future. Meanwhile, the RSC proposed budget includes a gradual increase in the full retirement age. We've already seen this once, increases to the full retirement age. We've also seen France just increase their full retirement age. We've also seen other countries do this here. France just did it within the last 12 months. People don't like it, but it's better than Social Security system running out of money. That would be a lot worse. The committee's chairman and budget and spending task force stated that the recommended reforms would not affect benefits for any senior in or near retirement and would prevent insolvency for the next decade. But there's more to the story. It's inaccurate, though, to claim that the president has a Social Security plan that would specifically includes 23% benefit cuts. That would happen if Social Security runs out of money because then they would only be able to pay the benefits that come in on a monthly basis and they would have to pay them out immediately. Sure, Biden hasn't unveiled his own proposals to prevent Social Security from becoming insolvent since he became president, but there's more to the story. The president's proposed 2024 budget stated the administration is committed to protecting and strengthening Social Security and opposes any attempt to cut Social Security benefits for current or future recipients. It also added the administration looks forward to working with Congress to responsibly strengthen Social Security by ensuring that high-income individuals pay their fair share. Based on these comments, it seems that Biden prefers to allow Congress to work out the details of any Social Security reform that could be the smartest political strategy. This is because no president wants to be the one seen as cutting Social Security. Republicans and Democrats, neither party wants to be seen as cutting Social Security. This is pr the reason why we haven't seen a lot of changes made to Social Security. It really needs to be a complete bipartisan effort from both parties together so that neither party is to blame. Unfortunately, whoever's the president at the time will probably get the blame. And whoever, you know, if it's Biden and it passes during Biden administration, the other party will likely blame whoever that president is. Or, if, you know, if the president, if the next president's a Republican, the Democrats will blame him. It is just is what it is. Um, it's a sad fact of life. And, you know, Haters from the other side, just, you know, average everyday Americans will, will do that and they'll blame that president probably for decades to come. Uh, you know, it's just a sad way of how our country is. You guys can let me know your thoughts on this. But we've known this for years and years and years, decades, really. The Social Security program is running out of money and really changes should have been made 10 plus years ago. We've made one change. We've raised the retirement age, but we need to do more. Now, Biden has also, and I'll show it to you here, if you've watched my channel, you know this, uh, along with Senator Bernie Sanders, uh, in his 2020 presidential campaign, he's called for applying the Social Security payroll tax to wealthy earners that make over $400,000, or we've also seen another proposal at $250,000 to have them start paying into the Social Security system. Right now, it's at $160,000. This $160,000 is when people, their income is when they stop paying into the Social Security payroll tax system. This is because that's when they've maxed out the maximum earnings that they can pay into for Social Security that year and also the maximum amount of benefits they could get back. Remember, Social Security is kind of a pay-as-you-go pension system, if you think about it that way, okay? You know, we think about today's system, you know, pensions are kind of gone. There's maybe a few um, companies that still offer them. Social Security is basically a pension system, kind of, okay? It's the same type of 
uh, you know, system, same kind of idea. Technically, a 401k or an IRA is the same type of system. You just do it for yourself. You put money in, it grows for a long time, and then when you go to retire, you can take the money out, okay? So security is the same type of thing, okay? If you make up to $160,000, the government takes money out, okay? It gets invested, and then it grows for a long time, and then when you're older, you take the money out, and it's worth a lot more. It grew tax-free, and whether it's in a Roth IRA or an IRA or 401k, solar 401k, whatever it is, it grew, and it's worth a lot more, theoretically, or whatever, for a long, long time, decades later, and then you take your money out, okay? Uh, Social Security is actually the same type of system. You can make your own pension with a 401k, a Roth IRA, a regular IRA, even though pensions aren't really around by that many companies anymore, IRA or 401k is technically the same thing, especially if you get a company match from your company. If you get a company match, please take my advice that I got from people smarter than me. Uh, that's I don't work for a company. I work for myself, and I have for many, many years, different businesses, and you know, just take the take my advice. It's free money. Okay, if your company offers you a match take it, make sure you invest enough in there to get the full match because if you don't, that's free money you're missing out on, okay? They're basically saying, hey, if you invest in yourself in your 401k, uh, we will give you free money uh, as long as you put enough in to, to get all the free money. Make sure you do that. Also, you reduce your taxes because that money you put in is um, pre-tax money. And you will actually reduce your taxes that you pay on every paycheck, okay? You'll pay taxes on it later if it's a 401k. Um, if it's a Roth 401k, you'll pay taxes on it now, but you won't pay taxes on it later, and all that money will grow tax-free, which is amazing. So you guys can let me know your thoughts here on this, but even Trump has said that he doesn't want to change Social Security either or, either, or make any changes to it either. And um, who was it? Uh, I think it was, we had a Republican senator uh, that criticized both Trump and Biden for both saying that they don't want to make any change to Social Security. And I get the politicalness on it. Neither one of them wants to be the president that cuts Social Security. But the problem is, is that... If another four more years goes by, then we're looking at Social Security potentially running out of money in as little as five years. Now we're really starting to run into a serious, serious problem. Medicare can run can run out of money in as little as five years. If we fast forward uh, four more years, now we're looking at one year. Do you see the problem here? Yeah, I hope you're on the same page as me, because whether it's Biden or Trump or whoever it may be, maybe DeSantis or whoever, uh, we still got a year and a half till the next election, believe it or not. They got to do something. They got to do something. If they continue to do nothing, then we're going to look at getting nothing for our Social Security paychecks or at least a significant reduction. That is what we don't want. So I will keep you up to date here. At least I'm the voice of reason. I know people say I should be president, but I don't want to be because trust me, if I'm a Republican, all the Democrats hate me. If I'm a Democrat, all the Republicans hate me. And if you're an independent, you have no shot of winning. Not that I would want to be president anyways, because it sounds like a nightmare. But let me know your thoughts here in the comments, and I'll try to be the voice of reason for everybody. So make sure to subscribe down below. Click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos here. Uh, and I hope you had a fabulous uh, holiday weekend. Hope de-stressed for you guys here a little bit. Congress will probably figure it out. The question is here is that the sooner and sooner we closer and closer we get to all this, uh, the trust fund keeps going down, 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 and it gets, you know, it, the problem is, is that the lower and lower the Social Security trust fund and Medicare trust funds, they, the, the lower and lower they get on money, the more drastic the changes they have to get is, and that's, that's a problem. These changes should have been done 10 years ago or more.
So yeah, thanks so much for liking and sharing these videos. Here's some videos you should watch next. The White House just sent out this urgent warning, and you won't believe what Russia and Saudi Arabia just did to hurt your pocketbook. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.